Ladies, gentlemen, kiddiewinks and boys, you've probably seen this uh, on the internet. It's truly a sad, sad moment to be part of. Now, if you've not seen it, this lady, this woman here is what we call a clout whore. All she cares about is clicks, squeezing as much money she can from the milking cow. You know, all she wants is clicks, views to get famous. I've never heard of this lady before. She wears skimpy little weird outfits and embarrasses people. I'm going to play the video. You've probably seen it before, but I'm just going to give you the highlights and what she does. She basically Basically, he's just embarrassing this Twitch mod who is um, basically a laughing stock. You know, back in the day when they used to have like circuses and they'd, you know, take the mick out of like the dwarves or the you know, people with, who weren't different deformities or some sort of. They would mock them, wouldn't they? And they'd laugh and they'd pay him and he's like laughing at them. This is a prime example of laughing and taking the mick out of them. I feel sorry for the guy, but at the same time, you've got to be a bit of a doylem to agree to come on the show and do this. If they reached a certain subscriber goal, she would kiss him, which is, you know, like prostitution basically. You're paying for prostitution but hey ho we'll play it okay so before we do this can you please clean yourself up can you please clean yourself up like he's carrying herpes like bruh brushing your teeth ain't gonna save you from that like make sure there's no snot maybe rinse out your mouth a little bit it's not. He's not like a six-year-old. You know when you had that one guy in school who had a little bit of dribble out his nostril? It would just hang there. Never get rid of it. He always had it. I know a couple back in my day. I know you do too. He's not some like kid who still wears nappies. He's a grown adult and you're just embarrassing him by saying, make sure you clean yourself, get rid of any diseases that you might be lingering in there. Uh, yeah, please. I only did the kiss room because I knew I'd be kind of drinking, right? And me drinking... I won't even remember this kiss anyways, so... Oh yeah, so she... I forgot to mention as well, they've been drinking the whole night because she can't kiss him, which is even more embarrassing unless she's smashed and off her head. So she basically has been drinking shots or something like that, getting a bit rowdy, you know, on that vape juice or something like that. She might as well have been injecting crack into her ass cheeks because what she's about to do is never forgivable. You're filming it on the internet. Whether you think enough alcohol is going to make you forget it is not uh, factually correct. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I can't do it. Sorry, it's fine. No, it's embarrassing, like screaming like a girl, like, you know, he's, he's trying to molest you. Like, you agreed to this. This is probably your idea. Pretend I'm like uh, John Cook or something. The audacity of me that comparison is I don't criminal. know what you need me to do to help you through this. All right, here y'all go. Oh, even he's on board, like, I'll help you through this. Like, she's giving birth. Like, hold my hand, I've got this. Don't worry, just a quick peck. Your lips have pressies on them. Go wipe that oh shit off. Guys, you're like dry lips kit on his lips. <laughs> Oh god, she's just horrible. She's just a nasty, vindictive bitch who someone needs to absolutely drop kick and beat to death because she should not have a voice on the internet. You know, the only reason she has a voice is because she wears outfits like that for little kids to stare at. What do you clean up? I'm using chapstick, y'all. I'm trying. Okay. Okay, there's shorts built in. Don't worry, guys. Come close. I have to go to you. I have to come oh, okay, closer okay, okay, to okay, me. Okay, I'm right here. I'm right here. Look at his face, bro. This is like his first kiss. He's never done this before. God, imagine how embarrassed you would be if this was you. Well, firstly, don't get into a situation like this. It's like, you're never going to get killed by a shark if you don't get swimming, if you don't go swimming. You're never going to have your life ruined by a clout-chasing Twitch streamer if you don't appear on a clout-chasing Twitch streamer's stream. Right, lads, get your lube out. I'm ready for the uh, the grand finale. The big schlong dong, ding dong, king kong finale moment is here. Try not to, uh, you know, cremate your underpants. And then he sneezes. I mean, he's not doing any himself any favours at all. I mean, she runs off and screaming like she's just been sexually assaulted. This is why I have trust issues with females, by the way, because people like her roam the world, and there's plenty of them. All she wanted to do with this was embarrass this poor guy who's done nothing wrong but help her out on a Twitch, by the way, and this is what he gets. Imagine that. You work for me. You're a brilliant guy. I pay you, whatever, and then, you know, I invite you around to mine, and I just embarrass you all evening. I just say you're a fat, stubby little chode who doesn't do any good work and is work shite, but then by the end of it, I'm like, it's okay though, I pay him. You know, you wouldn't take it. You would not accept that as an excuse. You'd probably be like, fuck this guy, I'm not going to work for you. This guy, I feel sorry for because it's like taking advantage of him. He's probably, you know, not had the most lavish female, shall we say. And when a woman who does not look like a goat approaches you and says, I'll kiss you on stream, you'll be like, I can go on then. Yes, please. Imagine what she'll do off stream. But no, it didn't end like that. It's unfortunately his, his life and it's just embarrassing. Like, I feel sorry for the guy, but you know, you agree to it. I'm sure she didn't hold a gun to you.
to you and said, come on my crap stream and let's get Dono goals so that we can smooch. It's fucking... And the sneeze didn't help, let's be honest. That sneeze was absolutely horrific to watch. But, however, but never fear. Dr. Disrespect is here. No, seriously. Instead of, you know, quitting and finding a new job or moving on with your life with someone else, he decided, let's embarrass ourselves even further let's really end our life and become the worst internet meme of 2024 and that's saying something he is taking top spot but what does he do you ask well i'm not going to spoil it for you because what he does is just simply incredible so i only watched one panty okay you ready sure all right ah Oh, sweet Mary, mother of God, Jesus Christ, Father above, give me Lord. Give me some strength because he has just agreed to sniff her pantaloonies on stream in front of probably thousands of people all because of a dono goal. I mean, I hope he is getting a mansion to do this because if you are selling your soul to the devil, you better be compensated. Not only did he, you know, do the worst kiss I've ever seen, you know what I mean? I got, I, I was stiff and then I was hard, it was that bad. Now he is sniffing her pantaloons on stream for the whole world to see. It smells like, like game. <laughs> yeah. He's gone for seconds. He was like, yeah, I've not had enough there. I need more. Give me more. Can you take it home? Can you just stuff it in my shirt pocket? Yeah. I actually like that pair. I'll give you a different one later. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I like that pair. I'll give you another one later. What? What? Can you stuff it? You could take it home like a, you, like you've won a prize at the mall. Thank you. God. Jesus. Embarrass yourself for a pair of pants. Well, imagine what we'll be doing with them later. Disgusting pair. I... See? She pays her mods. I pay my mods. Yippee. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why you support them. <laughs> I don't know why you support them. I guess you get to keep back. I like that pair a lot. I like want to switch it out. But... Oh, for fuck's sake, lads. Truly desperate people are someone who you should not take advantage of. And I apologise, this man might have a, a wife. I heavily doubt it. He might get pussy three times a day. But judging by his actions and the way he, you know, went for seconds on that sniff sniff, he does not get pussy three times a day. He's probably not even seen a for JJ other than on P-Hub or something like that. But at, this, at the same time, you know, this, this woman's the problem. Let's be real. When you have problems, you know, when you take advantage of... Of, let's say someone who has a rough upbringing and you you know you sort of manipulate them and this is no different you know you're manipulating this guy who is not the most outlandish extravagant confident human being i mean he's wearing a coca-cola hawaiian top a coca-cola hawaiian top like i like what why you're on stream and then he's wearing the worst shorts in the world like, i have no dress sense i wear pajamas to the supermarket but i would not go on stream wearing that and especially like when you know you're the laughing stock like she is like more famous than she's ever been because of this weirdo so she invited him back and saying look i'll give you i'll give you a pair of pants if you just come on my stream like what sort of a creep you're basically admitting you're a weirdo and that you would like this woman's you know underwear because you're never going to get someone like her and don't get me wrong she's not like she's she doesn't look like a toenail, but, you know, she's clearly thinks she's, like, top dog. You know what I mean? She runs this show and, yeah, put it in my pocket. Be be a good be a good girl. It's like, yeah, that's the first time someone's ever come close to his nipples before or something like that. I mean, oh, God, I hate things like this. So it is practically bullying. And, unfortunately, you get people who are too silly and too stupido to work that out, that they're being the mick taken. Or maybe he knows. Maybe that's his fetish. Maybe that's what he likes. He just enjoys being the laughing stock of the internet, which is just bananas. I mean, if you ever go fame, you, you want to be famous and remembered for good things, surely. You want to be remembered, oh, that was a guy who made me laugh. That was a guy who told interesting stories, did some good online. Not that he, you know, stole a creator's underpants and was embarrassed when giving her a kiss. I mean, good Lord, guys. But yeah, that's it. Thank you. Good night. God bless. One thing I wanted to add, if you still here, you're probably not. I'm going to be making a Discord. I really want to sort of engage with you guys more. So stay tuned for that. Cheers, guys. And uh, yeah, sort this guy out. Sort yourself out, mate. Don't embarrass yourself anymore. Oh.